so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna learn something more in flutter as we have talked about the crud operation in our previous video and we have learned about how we can fetch data from our mysql database you have seen that to when we open our app we get the data that is this we have our name and mobile number okay so in this video we are what we are gonna do is we are gonna move forward and what we are gonna do is when we press our floating action button okay when we press our floating action button it will take us to a new page and there we will give the data that is our name and our mobile number and it will add the data in our mysql database okay so let's go to our firstly in the my uh, sorry ht docs folder and in that folder there is a add data dot php just open this and in this we will type some php codes mm, let it open yeah here it is and here what we will give here we will let me start typing some of the code that is firstly we will include the connection dot php yep okay and after that what we will have after that we will have two things one will be the name okay and second will be the mobile okay and these thing will always be in a post format okay um, and in this name okay this name you can give any name where what you want to give but it should be same as you will give in the uh, flutter project okay i will show it there um, here we will ask for a post this post word will always be a capital okay and mobile okay we have two things okay now what we will do we will call the con variable and we will give a query sorry uh, q u e r y query and here we will give the insert function okay um, so insert function will have two things okay insert into what was my table name my table name was my table okay so here insert into my table okay as we have our what as we have our um, id as a auto increment so we are not taking id as a input okay so here there will be two things okay yep like this and here we will pass the name and other things like uh, this here name name dot and here dot mobile dot okay so this is complete we will save this and this will not work yet because we are not passing any of the things okay so how we can pass the data okay so we will just cut this thing and what we will do now we will go to the main um, uh, sorry not this we will go to our intellij okay and you can see that there is a floating action button okay uh, this is our floating action button and here we haven't done anything okay so what we will do here now we will take this to a new page that will be navigator mm, come on show the navigator here yep. navigator dot off okay and in that off it will ask for a context okay and after that contact it will go for push okay push mm. yep and in this push what we will do we will go for a material page root mm. enter yep material page root yep. yeah so you can see that there is material page root and in this material page root there is a builder so in this null we will give the build builder context 
builder context build not build it will ask for build context okay and here we'll pass the context and as the context passes it will take us to a new data okay new data this new data we have to create this okay so we have to just create a new class mm. come on new new file and new uh, date data dot dot okay so what we'll do here here we will do something like firstly we have to import we can do it more really like go and just copy this copy and just paste it here so you can see that <laughs> and now we will create a stateful visit stf mm, and here we will give the uh, new data okay so you can see that this is done and now we will go to our this section and just import the package okay so this has been imported and what we will do here here we will do um, <coughs> just firstly we have to create a scaffold we will create a scaffold scaffold yep and in this scaffold there will be a app bar okay app bar will be a app bar and this will have a title title will be a text as add new data okay and uh, after that in this mm, mm, after app bar there is one thing more that is the body okay and in this body what mm, body will have a mm, what you can say will have a list view okay body will have a list view and this list view um, sorry this will list view have a children as a widget okay because we don't want any of the error of uh, what you can say pixel more than anything okay so we will um, have a list view and here in this list view um, we have a children and in this children um, what will have um, here we can ask for uh, what you can say text field text okay here we will ask for two text field mm, yep text field here we have two text field okay and in this text field what we will do mm, we will have a uh, decoration okay and in this decoration there will be in input decoration okay this input decoration will have a hint text hint text will be what uh, enter name okay and after this hint text there will be a label text and it will also have the same thing enter name yep okay and uh, yeah we are done and now we will copy the same thing copy you can go here and paste it here okay and here we will give the intermobile and the same thing will be here intermobile okay so this is done okay and after that what we will have we will have a uh, button okay we will have a material button material button okay material button and in this material button mm, what will there will be a child child will have a text text as add data okay and we will give it a color color as colors dot red red is and i will give the red is and okay and now what we will do Mm, we will do is that 
when this button is pressed okay on pressed okay when this button is pressed we will take this page this um, page to the home page okay and that is our main page okay so what we will do um, we will just do the navigator dot of contact or we can also just do this the no we can just it push it to new material page okay we'll just take this to the new material page root okay and here we'll pass the build context context and this will take us to the what was name here it's our home okay so we will take it to home dot no we will take it to home okay it will have a semicolon here and we will just include this here okay and what we'll do it will just take but we have to add data so then we can add data okay Mm, we haven't created any of this in data here so this function so we have to create this function okay so we will just go upward mm, after the state section okay and let me just minimize this just minimize this okay and here here what we will do we will create a function void add data okay in this add data what are we going to do we are going to give our whole data okay our whole data to a url okay we will have a url okay this url will be what this url will be the url of our this add data okay so we are going to just go here one nine dot dash dot dash dot dash slash okay slash we are in my folder dot at data dot php dot php so you can see that there will be a uh, something error okay because name and mobile are not existing here till yet so we will just copy this and we will just go here and in this double quote we will just pass this okay so we are done hmm. now what we will do we will go to the http dot post because we are giving a data as a post seg method okay and in this we will have the first parameter as a url and second will be as the body okay and this body takes or gives every input as a json method okay so what now what now we have two things now we have to pass two things first will be the name should be same as the name that you just said and after that we will have a tab mobile mobile m o b i l e yep okay so here we will also have the link but how we can get that data so for getting that data we have to get a text editing controller t e c yep and here we will give the c mobile and c name is equal to new yep. and after that we will just copy this and paste and this c name will convert it to c mobile okay and here we will just give it a c name dot text comma and simply c mobile dot text okay so you can see that we have just got the data and when we will 
um, click on this button okay when we will click on this button it will call this add data function and it will take us to um, in it will add the data um, it will just fetch the data in a JSON format and post it and send it to this URL and this URL will take the name and mobile and will access that but here we have not done any one thing that is we haven't passed the controller how this controller we identified that this text field is calling or this text field is calling so for that we have to pass the controller and what will the controller controller will be the C name okay um, controller will be the C name and why it's not showing here because we have done something wrong that is we should have declared this outside okay now it's done yep here and this text will also will have a controller and will have a C mobile yeah so this is done and this is also done yeah okay so um, what we will do one thing more um, as we have seen that our um, this circular indicator is always on the right hand uh, corner left hand corner okay so what we will do we will just arrange this to our mm, we'll just arrange this to a center widget okay else we will go to a uh oh we just cut it and now we will type the center okay and in the center we will have a child we will have a child as a new So you can see that there is no error I think so okay so let's move and just run it let me take my data cable as you know that I always execute these things on my real device so let us go and let me open my developer mode developer mode in addition setting developer option D I Z W so where is my data cable here so now let's just connect <laughs> so you can see that uh, let the device connect yeah you can see that my device has been connected so now what we will do we will just run the device okay we are just running it and it has started so we will wait for few seconds and yeah you can see that it's building so guys it will take a little bit time but it will definitely work okay I think so and if the code runs successfully I will upload this code after the completion of all the CRUD operation on my github repository so just be in link with us so that you can get the update on flutter okay Mm, and after this CRUD operation we I'm gonna tell how we can attach the our flutter project with our firebase okay and after that too, I, I have thought that I will tell about how we can implement that I'm just thinking about how we can I so you can see that the app has been installed and it has initialized each and every gradle land bit so it is installing the apk in my mobile 
and it will just sync the device for the hot reload and you can see that there is there was an error and it has been removed why what was the error okay so let us first see does it do the previous functionality okay it was doing okay and it's returning okay and as we add some of the data it takes us to a new page here it asks for intern name let me give it as um, Akshay Kumar he's my favorite actor Akshay Kumar and let me give the number okay as one two three four five six seven eight nine add data mm. so it has not been added why it's not added firstly we have to just undo the thing that we did here mm, that is this okay we have to just undo this thing we have to just R A T U R N return circular indicator and now we will just cut and here we will just paste it here now we will hot restart it there is some error that is comma or this they are sinking now yeah you can see that it's now correct it take us to new page now let me add some data why is not it is adding so let us go to our this page it means that some of our data is not let me just refresh it why it's not adding it means that our let us see no it's not fetching the data so let's go to our add section add data dot php let me just open it and let's see our code what was our code as it is working it is taking us to a new page it means that data insert into my table connection dot dot and everything is correct why it's not working values this this mobile mobile why it is now not running name mobile let's go to here let's go add it there is a name
what is the error i am not getting it <coughs> running correctly or not copy and let's see let us go to the school part control or paste and here what we will do in these things we will go and paste some of our data firstly we will give it as a a a and second we'll give it as 1 2 3 no column count does not match which counted true one okay this is the error column count does not count with the should we give it a name comma mobile now it should run yeah now it runs okay it means that our query was wrong okay so let us take the query what let us give it a name and mobile here also name comma mobile okay and let us save this okay and now let us rerun it i don't think that we have done anything else so let us just open our app once more it will oh yeah it was showing yeah you can see that it we have a error we have that and now we are adding let me again add akshay kumar akshay kumar and mobile number as 1234567898 add yeah you can see that we have this akshay kumar and the error we are getting here was because of this so let me just rerun it and it will just remove all the error okay it will just debug once more this error was just because we haven't um, we have some syntax error at the point that we have we are doing the um, center widget okay and it was showing the error at that time only okay so as you can see that we have to be more precious while making our php code also not only with the flutter part we have to be our precious with our um, php code because you can you have shown that the little slight mistake can take our result down okay so let us do one more thing we will cut the video for little bit and we will do it okay you can see that our data our app has been installed and now it will sync the data as we have error um, removed the error and now we are syncing the file and um, now it will show us the result in my device so let's see um yeah mm. you can see that these are the data that we were doing okay so let me add one more thing uh, we will add a uh, data such as um, john abraham Uh, let me give it a mobile number like one two three four five six okay let me add yeah you can see that the data has been added okay so yeah let us go to our mysql database also let's see there only also 
let me browse it after browsing we will see that we have all the data there okay this actually kumar and john abraham okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video Mm, and if you have any comment please write down in the comment section and i will definitely get back to you on that and if you want anything else to be done please also write down in the comment and i will get back to you on that thank you have a nice day